<laughs> been good. No, man, this is a crazy process, but <clears throat> you know, I'm I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to come and 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 work out for the Jazz. I mean, great organization, great guys, and thought I did well. What's the craziest part of the process? Man, just kind of the uncertainty of it all. I mean, you don't know where where things are going to go. There's good days, there's bad days, and you got to just take it one day at a time and um, play to your strengths and play hard. What do they want to see out of you? Um, you know, there, there's certain things I'm trying to prove. I'm trying to prove that I, I, I can score from the three-point line. Um, you know, I, my game's kind of the mid-range game, but I'm a scorer, and I, I believe I can help any team score, and I'm um, trying to prove that. What went well today? Uh, uh, I think the three-on-three three was my best part. Uh, I thought thought I competed well, had some good good passes, and uh, made some made some shots. And so um, just gotta keep keep doing our thing. This is now your third workout. Has have most of the workouts been fairly similar, or has there been quite a bit of variety between the three? Uh, I mean, there's similar parts. To each each team will play some type of three-on-three, three, some one-on-one. -on -one. There's lots of different shooting drills and I'm trying to just take it all in. I, I learn something new every day just from the coaches or the guys I'm competing against. And so uh, it's, it's been a fun experience. What has been your feedback, maybe especially with today's workout from the coaches and whatnot? Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't had my interview yet. And so, uh, but I think I, I think I proved myself uh, on defense, um, staying in front of guys and, and then being a playmaker on offense, being able to hand, handle the ball. And so, those are some of the things I'm trying to prove. Are teams looking at you as a one or a two or a combo? Or? I think I think I'm a two, but I, you know, uh, the NBA game you have to be able to handle the ball, and so many teams use the use the ball screen, and so um, I'm getting more and more comfortable every day with that, and uh, hopefully I can be a threat from there. Do you feel like there are a lot of questions about your ability to defend six six and six eight guys because there's so many big guys on the perimeter in the NBA? Yeah, I think I think there are some some questions. Guys want want to see that out of me, but. You know my my workout so far. I feel like I've I've proven that, and uh, I've tried to build my body the right way so I can uh, be moving laterally quick and and uh, and be strong that way. Who you've been leaning on during this process? Is it you reach out to Jimmer? Is it your dad or other people? Uh, yeah. I mean, former coaches, um, Coach Pope, and who's now at UVU, and uh, Bob Medina, our strength coach at BYU. I mean, he he was in the NBA for 20 years. And then obviously, yeah, my dad and uh, my family um, talk to them every day about, about what's going on. So where have you worked out and where are you headed? Uh, I've been in Phoenix and Dallas this last week and then um, the Jazz today, Lakers Wednesday, Golden State Saturday, and then I think I have Memphis and Brooklyn, like, you know, a bunch more. And so just trying to take it one at a time and, and play as hard as I can. Have you thought about Wayne? D League versus making money in Europe versus being closer to the NBA? Uh, not really right now. I mean, I'm trying to just keep all my options open. And, you know, obviously uh, the main goal is playing the NBA, and I feel like I can I can play there. Uh, I feel like my game fits well, and I can uh, be of value to, to some team. I mean, what would it mean to you in the future if you do get picked up in the NBA? It, I mean, it'd be awesome. That's what, that's what you grow up uh, dreaming of doing, and um, it, it'd be a, a really great experience, but you know, I'm I'm open to all my options, and um, you know, everyone takes their their route a different way, and so I'm um, just trying to go as far as I can. How, how did your career at BYU prepare you for this opportunity? Um, you know, a, a lot of guys will look at uh, a four-year person in college as a negative thing, and I, I don't think so. I wouldn't I wouldn't trade my experience at BYU for anything, and I feel like I'm. I'm NBA ready, you know, mentally and physically, and um, I'm, I'm confident I can play. Did you enjoy meeting Dirk Nowitzki? That was great. He was a nice guy. <laughs> Huge, really big, but good guy. It's probably, I mean, you probably met a lot of big time players. Was, is there something about him that caused you to be a little starstruck where you'd ask for a photo? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, a lot of the guys that were at the workout were like, you know, do we want to be that guy and, and take a picture with him? He grew up watching him, and I mean, he's one of the greatest players ever. And so, uh, he was one of my favorite players growing up. So, I thought it would be cool. Is that a fun part of the process? Is meeting some of the big names in this in the game? Uh, for sure. I mean, you grow up watching the NBA, and, and then all of a sudden you're here. And so, um, but I mean, you can't be too too starstruck. And I feel like I can play with them.
makes it a little bit surreal just knowing that you're kind of at that stage in your career to where you're preparing for the NBA or yeah I mean a little bit it's it's just the next thing I feel like I had a great college career and um, but I feel like I'm ready for this next step.